And now you got a problem with me. I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity. I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me. Did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Hollow, you look tired. Microaggression! Ah, ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy. Oh, no. They look tired as a microaggression that will not stand. But I am tired. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you, you're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. What? Catch the... Come on, you want to learn about race, right? Give me your best shot. It's a nice day, isn't it? What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. It's a nice day, isn't it? Mm, yes, very good. That was indeed not a microaggression. Ah, uh, okay. All right, round two. I ate a hamburger last week. All right, that was also not a microaggression. This time I will use a microaggression and you will see how it gives you a free shot. All right, everybody, listen up. I'm about to use a microaggression, but it's only for the use of training this young person in the ways of the social justice warrior. Thank you, microaggression, about to happen. Thank you. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggression, hit him. Oh, oh. Not bad, kid, not bad at all. Not only is the word chick derogatory to females, but also criticizing a male for looking feminine is a microaggression towards a person of transgender. Okay. Now let's see if you can spot a microaggression that's more subtle. My pants are warm. My pants are warm. That's not a microaggression, is it? That coffee belongs to Tim Sherman. I heard it's going to rain. Janet likes to roller skate. Oh, come What's on. What's wrong with you? You can't just attack for no reason. Try again. Okay, I thought I had it. Janet likes to roller skate. Mr. Yamashiro is actually a very good driver. Microaggression. Uh. Hit him. Uh, uh, uh. Nice kid. Very nice indeed. Using the term actually inferred that maybe other Asian Americans are not good drivers. And the use of Mr. is offensive to persons of third gender. Now before we talk about your race, I need you to get out there and do some PC work for me. I'll let you know when I think you're ready. Okay. Remember kid, people use my- One more and then I'll hit the road. Two max. Sure, let's do it. Mr. Burger. Hmm, yeasty. Pop stunt your growth, child. Do you want to grow up to be a sh one more and then I'll hit the road? Too. Gosh, darn it! Hmm, yeasty. You sure are the weirdest superhero I've seen all day. Okay, I'll follow you. Then you go pick some fights and Thanks, get. Kid. Okay. I bet that was a real cool picture. One more and then I'll hit the road. Two max. Right. But Lord, I have to say I'm mildly impressed with the progress you're making. Come to the coon lair. I've got a little surprise for you. Coon out. Oh, I know whose cat that is. Oh, he's multiple cats. Come a little closer. All right. Who wants the first cut? Go Dutch, new kid. Wow, I'm almost impressed. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. Looking sharp, Pooh. Damn right, diabetes. Oh, is a little fourthy about to cry? Microaggression. Hit him. <laughs> Take that, fourthy. I can't say no to kicking some fourthy ass. 
Took that like a champ, Forthy. Here we go. For Forthy Scum, you guys are kind of scrappy. Hey, don't yeah. look, you gay wads. It's my turn now. Walk it off, butt lord. Not your last stop. Light, teeth, whatever. Don't mess this up, dickbag. This is for scrambles, you bastards. This might sting. Ow. They never sell that kind of cool stuff on wildlife shows. Okay, who's the next target of my unbridled rage? Yeah. Well, shot combatant, but diabetes will prevail. Captain Diabetes, prepare to strike. Feel so heavy. Ooh, that felt good. You like that fourth thing? Got a lot more waiting for you in middle school. Here I go. Like a fall punch. Another foe falls before the might of Coon and Friends. Alrighty. Step aside, crew friends. Daddy's home. Yeah. Fucked by the long dong of just great teamwork. The long dong of justice still makes me laugh. I got one microaggression out of that. All right, so we have X amount of cats. I don't know how many they are, but seems to be a few. I'm sure once we get all the cats, I've seen cats around, so like I've, I definitely know there's a few of them. Hey, Forthy, come play with us, big kids. Yeah, fuck off. See you later, Forthy. I'll be waiting for you. I don't know what the new password is, though. Get. Scramble. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys. Can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Uh... Right behind you, mosquito. All right, what you got Lord, for? I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. All right. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid? No, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes. It, you think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Oh. Psychic. Assassin. Gadgeteer. Assassin. Assassin. Hope you're not squeamish about blood. Okay, but if you're gonna be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. All right. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's oh. when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. As an assassin hero, you sharpened your blades and prepared to do what you do best. Kill. Wasting no time, you drew first blood with a quick cut attack on the nearest foe. Oh, I messed it up. Bloodied your target called for his companions to aid him. Hey, that kid has a knife. Oh shit, seriously? 
Even as he lost blood, the intruder swung his crowbar wildly at your face! We needed to get out of the fray and back into the shadows. Miserable. Whoa! Hey, where'd that little shit go? Bewildered, the village searched for any trace of your whereabouts. I got a bad feeling about this. You stealthily crept into position to execute your next move. Your spin slash sends a fury of fifty knives in all directions. This is for my fellow home invader. Mortally wounded, the last standing foe charged at you and let loose a blood-fueled onslaught. Ultimate's ready. You were dead. You were him. It's like some kind of super assassin. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. <laughs> Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, butt lord. You still have a lot of things to do. All right. Let's change our class a little bit. Want to work on that backstory again? Okay, but this is the last time we're doing this until you finish filling out your character sheet. All right. Yeah, I really just don't see you in that kind of role right now. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Psychic. Psych don't try to read my mind, but oh. Do I have to really go through a backstory every single time? As a psychic superhero, you focused your mind and prepared for battle. Your foes had brawn, but you had brains. You used those brains to create a psi shield. You're just gonna sit there and think, kid? What do you think of this? What the... What's with the kid? You sensed another threat coming from up the stairs. Oh no. As the brute entered, you overpowered his weak mind with a dazzling flash. On, what? First intruder tried his luck again. But his attack still couldn't penetrate your mental barrier. What is this power? Still under the influence of Mind Glitter, the biggest intruder attacked his fellow thug. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? I can't think at all. Now you've centered your mental energy to further trivialize your enemy's attacks. Just happen. Hey, come on, that's just not fair. The intruder still thought he could get a hit in on you. But he's not bad. I'm just out of ideas. Me too. Uh. You were done toying. You focused your mental energy once more. You got into position to unleash a massive cerebral blast. Bam. Your brains are better than brawn. Glad that's over, Jesus. Alright, change one more. Oh, did you want to try out a different backstory? Okay, but this is the last time we're doing this until you finish filling out your character sheet. Right. Yeah, I really just don't see you in that kind of role right now. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? A gadgeteer like Iron Man, but not as cute. Yeah. As a gadgeteer hero, you knew you could answer these intruders with whatever inventions you had in store. First, you decided to change the battlefield to your advantage with your straight shooter turret gun. Look, kid, we aren't here to play. I think it adds a teammate, huh? It's cool. It has like three turns. The threat that your gadget presented and swiftly took it out. Oh. But you had way more gadgets where that came from. An 
automaton shaped in your image. The intruders move closer, ignorant of the power that lay behind your creation's friendly smile. <laughs> While the intruders' ears were still ringing from the blast, you pulled out your next shocking invention. The Gigabolt Glow! Ooh, nice. Plus shock damage? The intruders moved in to retaliate. But your electric device is a gift that keeps on giving. The remaining intruder moved in. Without any of your inventions available, he was able to get in a critical hit. Severely damaged, it was time to call your final and most powerful invention to your side. The Airborne Annihilator! You kids and your damn toys! Nice. Glad that's over, Jesus. All right. I like the ultimate being that. I didn't actually like any of the gadgets. I like the dazzling flash. Maybe a new costume. That'd be can I change color? I can. We just have an assassin hood. What's this outfit called? Horse. All right. How many cats does he have? We shouldn't even. New inventory. Level since engorged and tingling. Coon store. Good bath. Oh, freedom Come pals. Play with us big kids. You get to the playground fast.
your precious global financial system is in flames. <laughs> Oh, I can just reverse it actually. That's assault. Yeah. All right, got another one. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, Coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Toolshed. That's a cool name. <laughs> Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadgeteer class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair. At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. <laughs> you call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, Freedom Pussies. That info is class bag. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh, yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! Ah! Ah! They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom yeah. Pals just raped my mind, you guys! Let's get these pedophiles! Coon and friends assemble! Freedom Pals, unite! Civil War II is going down! Civil War II already. <laughs> You're outmatched. Give up before you embarrass yourselves. How would you like a screwdriver sandwich, Coon? Every tool has its place in the fight for freedom. I can't even see the battlefield. I'm easy, son. Right. And that really hurt. My friends are watching. Oh my god. Just kidnapped a bunch of kids! Dr. Timothy is a mistake beyond your comprehension. Microaggression. Hit him. Ugh. I'd call that an appropriate application of force. Not gotten that the camera, pal. That was a thorough fisting. Systems online. Aren't you just full of surprises, Tupperware? And perhaps a few leftovers? Uh, no. Yeah. Ugh. Now go tell everyone you cut yourself manscaping. to DIY some justice. Hey. Uh, you wield those tools like a surgeon. No, it's the same, like, block. You 
knock the braids out of that shit for braids. Just go. Oh. Attack player Delta Gamma. Leaner fart. Watch me, watch me, and I'm gonna do something. Watch me. Ah. See how brave I am? Let's beat these poopy heads. Uh -huh. hey, that's what you get for being a dummy bar's face. Make way for Mysterion. <laughs> Formidable as always, Mysterion. Oh, bleed to death. Oh, no, he did die. Lights, teeth, whatever. You know how to take these kids out. I am out of fuck ticket. Nighty night. Here comes Tupperware. <laughs> impressive, Tupperware. Most impressive. Ah, quit encouraging him. Someone's ready for their spin up in Turkish markets, at least. Kids. Yo! <laughs> you look stupid. I'm real strong. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> no tag box. Pow, pow, pow. Huh? You're a boomer fart. Oh, am I up? The kids are done. My turn. Time for the Tupperware party. That sucks for you, new kid. I got pushed back with a bitch. I have a really good feeling about this, kid. There we go. See you on basic cable. <laughs> Hey, and level up. Got the epic slot. Next one should be another epic slot, I'm assuming. Yep. Microaggression's done and master enthusiast. Uh, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is twice we kicked your asses. You guys are nothing without the new kid, and you know it. New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics. We're Marvel. Fucking asshole. You guys have Zack Snyder to break your fucking movies. <laughs> hey, Zack Snyder movies are dope. Hey, that was some pretty good PC police work, kid. Way to take advantage of those motherfuckers' microaggressions. Come back to the brew pub. I think we can discuss your race and ethnicity now. Okay. Go to Crunchy's Maker Brew. Uh, do I got a new artifact? Oh, wait, I got the epic slot. Most epic artifacts grant unique abilities instead of team bonuses. This commando guy.
Cats are in my inventory. <laughs> Again, I wish they told me how many cats there were. Hope you sock away some pennies, because you're never getting in there. Chaos number 35. Somebody call for a fast pass? You better run fast. <laughs> See you, new kid. You want to hear a secret, sweetie? Yeah, come real close now. Maybe next time. All right, let's head inside. You have potential, kid. I'm glad to have you in town. Now let's discuss your race and ethnicity. Let's determine exactly what you are. Okay, I'm Asian. Asian. Hey, Punjabi's a... Th oh my god. Punjabi. Race and ethnicity are very different things. Nice. It's your Manny Splendor journey. I had no idea Punjabi was a, a option in this game. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Now that you know how to define yourself, you can go back to making people pay for not identifying you and others correctly. I'm glad I know a little more about you, kid. Now get out there and kick some ass. Exit back here. I never saw this earlier. Anything else? No. Attention all coon friends! We have the information we need and are ready for our next mission. Everyone report to the coon lair immediately. Coon out! Coon out. We need a tool. Those superhero meanies mess with the wrong reasons, girls. Where are you going? We have a date. We don't we need to get somewhere for that. Say quickly. Good, good going, new kid. 